and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some mono green ramp. So we have a pretty sweet looking donation deck here, uh, very similar to the mono green Tron that uh, I've played uh, a little bit here on stream. I'm calling this ramp though, since we have a Boreal Grazer, uh, Nissa's Triumph, Wayward Swordtooth, cards like that um, as well. Uh, yeah, Sonic Kebab. Yeah, that that would uh, that would work with. Uh, yeah, you can you can make God Pharaoh statue a creature and humble the host. Uh, copy the God Pharaoh statue so you can get more of them. Um, yep, that works. Okay, so what we have here is, um, you know, we have our our mono green big mana deck. Um, our, so let's kind of going through this. So we have we do we are playing a Boreal Grazer, Grazers, which. It's a card that I'm not in love with because you have to have a lot of card advantage for this card. Like you need to have like not only just have like just have an extra land in in your hand that you get to put into play. That's not really worth like the card because the O3 body isn't really doing very much. However, with this deck, the reason why I do like it a little bit more is because we're pairing it with Nissa's Triumph, where Nissa's Triumph can go get us you know multiple other lands, and so. You know, then we we can maybe have excess lands in hand so that the grazer helps us out here. So I do like that. And then the other thing I like about it is that it is a good body to block uh, for our planeswalkers because as you can see here, our planeswalkers are going to be our main win condition. So I think this this deck does do a good job of using the grazer uh, more than normal. Um, but yeah, we have you know then we also have our eight mana creatures with Landwarf and and Paradise Druid because we're trying to get out early here. And we have Bond of Flourishings, which I actually, I, I like Bond of Flourishings here. Not only could this be like that extra land to kind of help out with Grazer if we need more lands, but it also is, an, is a way to be able to dig towards our specific Planeswalkers. Because, you know, we really need to find our Karns and our Nissas and our Ugins and things like that to, to pull ahead. So yeah, Bond of Flourishing does a good job there. Um, and we have our Ford Swordtooths as well. So Swordtooth, again, we need to have a lot of lands in our hand, or we need to have extra ways to play lands besides just the ones from hand to, to take uh, advantage of Swordtooth. So with Swordtooth, we really need to be having uh, Crucible uh, in play to take advantage of that. But we do have the Crucible over here on the sideboard, which we can get with Karn. So, you know, we, we have our Karn, go grab our Crucible, and then we can start taking advantage of Swordtooth's ability to replay uh, the Field of Ruin in our uh, graveyard here. Um, so so that's our plan there. Um, when I tried to, you know, I've tried Swordtooth out in this deck a little bit and I wasn't too impressed with it. You know, so I'm, so going into here, I'm a little skeptical of Grazer and Swordtooth, but you know, we'll, we'll see how they play. I think that, that uh, having Nissa's Triumph again is gonna be an important thing there. Um, and yeah, so we do have our three Nissas, we, which we have our fourth Nissa in the sideboard. And I know a lot, you know, we have a, some people in here talk saying that we should just have all four Nissas in the main deck. And um, that's probably the case. But we got we got the fourth one over there. Um, but Nissa is kind of our payoff card, uh, getting a whole lot of mana and everything. Uh, but yep, Nissa Ugin, very good. The one card that's the other card that's just different is the arcane encyclopedia um you know if we if we get to the spot where we get to have a whole lot of mana and everything three mana to draw a card is not a bad not a bad rate at all um this one will be interesting to try out and see how we get to really abuse the encyclopedia here that'll be a good one to kind of see me to see here um but yeah so this is our mono green ramp deck this is our list we're going to try here and we'll see you know, see how it goes. Um, get some Riptile Raptors in the sideboard. I could see that. Yeah, I like I like a Riptile Raptor. Um, so there we go. All right, Mono Green Ramp. Wrong button. A little bit of a different, you know, build. Get to play some some cards that I'm not usually playing, and so that's good. I I like playing cards. That I'm not usually playing, you know, like like Nissa's Triumph and uh, Cyclopedia and and everything, and 
it's always good trying out new new cards because then you you know you get to learn. Uh, if you just play the same cards all the time, you don't really learn about other cards that, on face value, maybe you're not as interested, you know, or excited about, but maybe they overperform when you get to the games. And so, yeah, Nissa's Triumph does work really well with the Sword Tooth, getting us this, our extra lands. So, this hand looks good. Okay, when you helm an animated God Pharaoh statue, does it keep it as a creature, the copy? No, the copy uh, the copy is not a creature. It, it's just a... Um, it's just like the artifact. All right, Storm, welcome back. So if I bond a flourishing for a planeswalker, then they make me discard that planeswalker. That's a little rough. Let's see if you know, so like if they if they just discard the bond of flourishing, it's just kind of you know like whatever, that was a bond of flourishing. Let's see if uh <clears throat> We can maybe, you know, play the sword tooth here. Next turn get some even more lands, you know, we can have like six six lands next turn. And then, you know, maybe we bond a flourishing plus like a Karn, for example. We did find the Karn, but we have this mean Nicol Bolas over here. So Grazer has reach. Did I just miscount that? Oh, Grazer puts it in tapped. Oh. I thought I didn't oh, Grazer puts it in tapped. Whoops. So I should Oh, whoops. Yeah, so I should have definitely kept it in another land, uh, because of another Nicol Bolas or a, a disinformation campaign or anything like that. I should have kept another land in hand. I was thinking I was still gonna be able to play the Karn. Whoops. Okay. Worked out. I have faced worse than the likes of you. I am not frightened by you. So I certainly think the Karn's gonna die. For how they're kinda like looking at their hand. I think I think the Karn's gonna get gonna die. So I think we only get the one activation here. And I'm going to go for the Meteor Golem. To kill their Nicol Bolas. <laughs> yep, never punished. If you wish to meditate and prepare. Cast down.
Invictus. Also jumping in for that sub there. Thank you so much. Gets us to our eighth sub of the day. And keeping those hype boats going. Thanks, Invictus. Hone your prowess. Narset's going infinite. I train every day. No one is me. I have just the trick for this. Karn's tick up ability is only for non creature artifacts. You can't just uh, make this seven mana creature turn it into like a seven seven, uh, for example. One mana away from being able to play the Karn as well. Let's just get rid of this Narset so they don't get to minus again. So just have the one card they had left in hand and another and the other card. All right, Ugin pulls us ahead. Well, we drew pretty well that game, to be honest. Nissa's coming on in, and I think Nissa's about it. Well, let's see. I don't. Against Grixis Control, it's trying to kill all of our things. We really don't need these grazers. So if we we can take out the grazers, um, let's get the Crucible and Spy Glasses. I guess I could get one Golem in. Yeah, one Golem, one Spy Glass. We still have one of each in the sideboard for Karn, and then the Crucible. Let's do that. Yeah, I think that was my plan, was the next turn, go grab a helm. Uh, with our colorless cards costing two less, uh, thanks to Ugin. Yeah, car and grab helm, play it. I couldn't equip it also, because the equip cost doesn't reduce. Yeah, Meteor Golem Helm is real mean. Grixis does a better job of destroying artifacts than Esper does. Having Bedevil and Rampage and cards like that. Hey, Dole. Thanks for keeping that hype going. Thanks for that resub there. Knights of the day. Very slow hand, but we're playing against a very slow deck, so keeping a slow hand is is reasonable. I don't, never really like mulliganing against Grixis. Grixis is a resource denial deck, so you want to have as many resources as possible. If you animate Helm of the Host and Spark Double it. Then animate the non-legendary Helm and equip the legendary Helm on the non-legendary. Are the copies it makes also non-legendary? Well, yeah, I would think so, right? Like, doesn't doesn't Helm just always make non-legendary copies? Like, Helm doesn't make legendary copies. I 
Oh, I'd love for them to mine us and kill Karn. Please mine us and kill Karn. Dang. No, Grixis isn't up on YouTube yet. We just finished up that league. I will return. It's uploading right now, but it'll take a little bit. We will not fail. The land fights for us. Please don't kill my land. Oh, I could have sacrificed Karn. Oh, right. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have just exiled Karn to the Nickel Balls to stick up. Absolutely. <laughs> no, can't watch the stream at 2x speed. Yeah, that's, that's a good part about the YouTube channel. You know, you get to watch it faster and um if you're somebody who doesn't love the music that's on the play you know that i play here on stream you know there's no music on the youtube channel so you can pl you can play your own music i can help you no longer yeah i don't like that hovering over the land either <laughs> i don't like that ho hovering over the land at all A defiance has consequence Mind and body should move in unison. Keep an open mind. Prime's a good one. Curious choice. Helps us hit our land drops. Schemes to attend to witness a moat of mine. Put thoughtfulness power. before action. <laughs> I always try to skip ahead live when the opponent's leveling. <laughs> Ow. I do not feel pain. Kind of wish I would have grabbed Spyglass instead of Golem after I know 88 ways all these Planeswalkers coming in. Meditate and prepare. Are they going to destroy the Narset also? is rewarded. So I want the I'd rather have the Nissa negated than the Ugin, because the Nissa of course uh means that I have to Nissa means I have to, you know, animate a land where the land can get killed and everything like that. You're looking awfully dead here. Yeah, not really looking too alive. Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. Hone your prowess. Dragon gods are really, really strong. So I we're playing Grixis earlier.
I mean, I think Esper is a really good anti-red deck. I don't really know how I'm winning this. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Good game. All right, let's see if we can get out to a little faster start here. Yep, going to game three. That's how we win this. Yeah, that was a good game. I uh, wasn't on the winning end, but... That's alright. That was a good game. Game three time now. How many counter spells do they got? Ooh, not enough. Protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. Don't really want to land just to get ritual to sit it away. It's like how we lose. Don't really want to destroy land. All right, and now we got an extra land. And we have this Ugin, so I'm definitely going to be taking up on a land here. But we got the, you know, we got to play the Ugin and everything. So we're good to go there. And fear are the seats so be gone, interloper. Rise, my elemental friend. That's pretty cool. Through this land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Destroy lands. Destroying lands is fun. We get another land out of our deck. They got an island. Interesting. So hopefully no ritual of sit again. And more ego. If 
Ugin gets attacked here, then we'll just, you know, we'll be ultimating this Nissa, likely. All right, so the rest of the Nissas are out of here. All right, what else is out of here? Karn? There's only one other Karn left in the deck. Right? Yeah. I will endure. Oh, they're going to say Ugin. I guess if they attack with Kefnet, they kind of die. If they don't attack, they kind of die. They're kind of dead right now. They're just casting some more Egos here. Looks like we got a win. They took my Nissas and Karns. Nissa and Karn down. <laughs> They're spite lobot lobotomizing. <laughs> Scouting for game four. Yeah, obviously we don't know what was in our opponent's hand because the we know the Unmored Egos didn't help save our opponent from dying, but we don't know what they had. Maybe they didn't have anything that could help save them. All right, so we're going to put a whole lot of lands into play to start with and then have the Bond of Flourishing hopefully help us find a Planeswalker. I could go Swordtooth plus Grazer, but Grazer isn't putting a land into play at that point. Whoa, good job, Grazer. Way to block. Way to block. All right, we've almost ascended. Need one more permanent. Well then. All right, deck looks pretty good. So they're going to be aggroing it up. I mean, let's let's bring in Nissa. This is pretty good. Maybe we don't need Arcane Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia here if they're gonna be kind of aggro. Maybe we don't have uh, time for the arcane encyclopedia I'll just ship it over to the sideboard where we can grab it with Karn if need be Yeah, mono green rocking it Rocking it there All right. <clears throat> the Nissa's Pilgrimage looks really good there, you know, getting us, you know, just being a two-mana draw to, you know, drawing us those extra lands that we needed. Same with the game one last match. Nissa's Pilgrimage was really good for us as well. And even, even that game three, it wasn't so bad either. We need more lands. Yeah, I like this Nissa's Pilgrimage card. I think if you, yeah, if we put in Vow and then big mana legendary green creatures, they'll kind of dilute our deck and, you know, we'll have clunkier draws then because, like, for everything, every time that we're playing those cards, that probably means that we are, you know, taking out the early game stuff. Oh, it's not Pilgrimage? Oh, it's... And this is Triumph. Whatever. It's the same thing. But this is Triumph. Ooh, I do like that we are good against Honor Guard. 
I do like that. Hmm. Let's play the druid. Yeah, like the only the only thing that honor guards like stopping is the grazer. I think. I think that's the only thing. Now it does shut down meteor golem. That's a good good call. Meteor golem. Good thing we played the Paradise Druid because it could block the Tajik. So that's how our opponent didn't attack there. The Druid. He gets to add mana here and help us play the Sword Tooth. And we are. We're gonna let the Tajik attack us. We're uh, we should be able to turn on the ascend next turn. So we're just a couple of permanents away. <laughs> well, that's not good. Ow. Alright, what do we got over here? You know, just Grazer? Unfortunately, the, the two bottom cards that we just had were Bricks and just shuffle those back in. But Swordtooth's turned on now. Yep, thinning the deck. You know, not exactly thinning because shuffled two dead cards back in to draw two cards. But, oh well. We should do a monocolor day. We could do that. What about a monocolor control day? I can make a control deck of every monocolor. Yay, Karn. Evil must not be so I have six mana this turn. I will not lose another friend. I think it's just Helm of the Host and equip Helm of the Host to Swordtooth next turn and start pumping out five fives. <laughs> Grab the snaring bridge. Yeah, mono white frenzy, that would count. Yeah, we'd have mono white frenzy, mono red crisis. Mono Green Tron. Uh, probably Mono Black Control, you know, like, we could go like Chromatic Black kind of thing. Mono Blue. Could go Mono Blue Artifact. Could make it like an Artifact deck. Basically a Colorless Artifact deck. Should probably keep the sword tooth alive. And yes, I, I know that they can first strike the Tajik to kill the druid. 
but that at least spends two of their mana. Yeah, go mono blue mill, mill our opponents out. Yeah, I could do a mono blue mill. So it wasn't a, a efficient block by me of not having the sword tooth kill anything, but. Ugh. I, think I was hoping to keep the sword tooth alive for a turn, though. Well, we are fortunate. You will not. Encyclopedia. Yeah, Meteor Golem doesn't do anything with Honor Guard, but I guess we could just kill Honor Guard here with Ugin. And now Meteor Golem does stuff. So they can kill one of my Planeswalkas. They chose correct. What if you could... Turn Helm of the Host into a creature with Karn and then equip that Helm of the Host to itself? That doesn't seem like that works. Right? You can't you can't have an artifact equipment that's a, also a creature and then also just equip it to itself, right? That seems pretty silly. Creatures are not allowed to be attached to anything. Man, tell that to Mowu. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Flavor text for Meter Golem. The impact sent the soldiers scattering. Then something came out of the crater. Audio Magics with that sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. My grief is my mission. More golems. Thanks for that tier one sub there. That is our tenth sub of the day. Hit a sub goal towards our next sub battle stream. I'll make sure to to mark that down in the info panel there. Getting that sub goal today. Awesome. Thanks Audio Magics. Meteor Golems! I don't have a Vanifar deck in this format right now. Um, yeah, I don't have one. Is Bant the best color combination for Vanifar? Or is it Teamer? I was actually thinking about putting one together today. 
Um, when I was building the Mardu mid-range deck, I was just looking through cards, you know, of like what what to put together for like a Neoform. Because yeah, I've never made it. I haven't made a Neoform deck at all. So maybe Neoform or Vanifar deck. GG's. If anybody has a sweet Vanifar deck uh, that you like that you want to send my way, feel free to do that, and I'll take a look at it. And you know, maybe you know, I'm not guaranteeing that I won't tweak anything. But if everybody has like a guess, like a starting point. This is the mono green ramp deck right here, Slayer. Yeah, I definitely like Rhythm of the Wild, Phoenix. Rekindling Phoenix, that is. So, island, Island. Alright, then the deck. Trying to get to 10 permanents. Almost. Yeah. No lands. I have a lot of lands. Wait, I think, what? You're supposed to do that at end step, not just take five damage and then, like that, that card did nothing. At least, or just don't take the damage. Either do, you gotta do it before damage or at end step. Pick one or the other. Yeah, saying the deck was chromatic, that's, that's referring to the card chromatic lantern. Uh, being a focal point of the, the deck. Question is, shouldn't you always play Triumph before land so you don't reveal cards you don't have to? Yeah, it's definitely reasonable. That sounds like a... Pretty good thing to do. Wait, what? They just didn't keep the land? Oh, because it's a shock land. And they're at four. Right. Alright, let's get some disenchants up in here. Let's get another Nyssa. Um... Less Grazer. against the deck that's not attacking and it's just playing uh, some Nexus of Fates and stuff. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Diamond Mare either. I haven't found Diamond Mare to be impactful of enough card in general. Alright, so we'll go with the Druid here because then we can play Karn next turn. Hmm. It's actually those Nissus Triumph out there. Okay. Uh, 
This lets me destroy a Wilderness Reclamation next turn. Grilled Mystic. That's a rude counter spell. I was expecting. So, this is like their Chemist's Insight turn. So, if I just don't play anything, then they get to Chemist's Insight. And that's not great for me. I am Tamiya. It is let me aid your research. Well, at least I got rid of another. I can't do both of these, can I? No. I can't do Ugin, like Nissa plus Ugin. Curiosity and wonder drives I have become I too involved with my work. Or destroy. Hey, miss. Repeated reverberation? Too many unreliable variables. Hmm. I definitely just think they have counter magic, so it's like, what do I... I guess I want the Karn counter the the least out of. Or, like, if they're going to counter something, I'd rather it be Karn than something else. Man, Frilled Mystics are so good. That's great. Yeah, you can double fork Planeswalker ability, so you can have, like, Nicol Bolas's tick up. Get a copy of that twice. Make them, you know, exile three things, and you draw three cards. So I definitely could have tapped that better for casting this Ugin. But to be honest, I wasn't really expecting that to resolve. Yeah, I honestly wasn't really expecting that to resolve. So I was I was planning on just putting a counter on the blast zone. But it resolved, so let's go ahead and still cast the Ugin and get a 2-2 out here. So now they have the bounce spell for the 2-2. They can kill one of my Planeswalkers. But just one. You know, I could have prevented that if I tapped the Blast Zone earlier, like, you know, wouldn't have had to tap the Paradise Druid, for example, could have blocked with that as well.
controlled nature's true power. All right, got the four four crisis out of here. So our Ugin doesn't die. <laughs> no. All right, and here comes the Nexuses. Time for them to cycle a bunch of Nexuses. Attack. I don't think we really mind if a forest dies. What? Is this like a combo deck or something? This card have some kind of infinite combo I don't know about? <clears throat> or am I... Am I offending this fairy right now by saying that it's like it's like the the flavor text is like you just heard me It's like everything else about this deck looks like, you know, like really normal and everything. You know, a bunch of like really good cards and there's this fairy duelist. You destroy my patience. Dueling out. Look at that little fairy. He's dueling. It's a tooth fairy. <laughs> All right, more force at the bottom. <laughs> it's a tough fairy. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Fog. Another land. All the lands. Land, land. Land, 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 land. Land, 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 land. Elf. Do not assume I am fragile. Hey, that's not a land. That's a dinosaur. Pause for reflection. What if I don't want to? All right, another good tick up. Ugin's tick up is doing really well for us. I'm just clearing out these lands and land war elves that we don't want to be drawn. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. I'm telling you, there's got to be some kind of infinite combo here with these duelists that I don't know about. There's got to be. Maybe you tap them. For pause for reflection and then whenever they're tapped I don't know 
I don't know. I have learned much hmm. from my ancestors. The sideboard card against mono blue. I guess if a sideboard card against mono blue is something that you're in the market for. And another land. The land fights for us. Hope this isn't Manamorphose into Settle the Wreckage. The Root Snare. Alright, so does Ugin kill Ascanta or kill Tamio? Guess it's gotta be Tamio. Like, as Kanta looks at the top four and just chooses one. But if if Tamio hits, it starts, you know, clearing off three three cards a turn, but then I guess it's gotta hit again. Yeah, let's just let's just do Ascanta, because Ascanta Another your You know, if they just find a a Nexus or a fog, they're good. However, like with Tamio, they have to name Nexus, and it's got to be Nexus, so like the fogs don't work. However, this is kind of riskier because if they do hit Nexus and Nexus again, they did not hit Nexus. They would have hit a fog, though. So, good call. But that was the riskier line because every, like, if they did hit Nexus, then, you know, they have three less cards in their library for the next turn to try to hit Nexus again. And so on, like they, they clear up their library pretty fast with the Tamio. Yeah, the fairies had flying. Yep. All right, we are three zero here with Mono Green Ramp. We are ramping up. <laughs> Them fairies be dueling. All right, next game has a lot of lands, so let's ship it. Ah, this one's got some lands. Keep. Um, I am going to need another land to get to the Sugan. What am I drawing in Nissa's Pilgrimage? No. Debolt. Bolton like Tybolt. Well, I guess let's see if this horsey does anything. This is the time to grab the horse. We'll see if it if it does anything. It's a beautiful horse. Of course. Of course. Mardu was really sweet. Yeah, I liked that deck a whole lot. I was uh, really happy with it. Two of them.
two of them. Two horsies. Well, there, there goes our horses. Uh, yeah, the video's up on YouTube right now for the Grixis deck. You can, there's, there's all my decks. You can check them out. You can check out the replay on the YouTube channel as well. So do I block and then minus Karn again? What's Karn grabbing now? Could grab like another horse. Why can't you kill lands? They should be able to destroy lands. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Rise, my elemental friend. Well, you did good, Nissa. My presence alone will guide you towards victory. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. More cards. Ether itself serves me. We need to find more cards. This one taken up with the Ugin. Ugin makes Ugin cost less. Truth lies beyond vision. Secrets manifest. All the Ugins. I think next turn I attack out. I don't know if I do this turn. Like this turn they get to like eat a land, eat a 2-2. Oh, maybe I should have that turn. Yeah, it's definitely worse here with staring down double first striker. You have erred. Do they have the third third steam can to go? Or sorry, third third chain whirler?
I don't think it's a good block to like, you know, try to block with everything to kill the Chain Whirler. I don't think that's a very good block for us here. So this costs seven total mana. One, two, three, four, five. And I have five. Do I grab helm and equip helm? Do I play helm and equip it? Let's get the statue. Yeah, has an Ugin ever been ticked up more times against Mono Red? I know, I know. Sit back and watch it burn. So the answer is probably not. Five mana Wizard's Lightning? Yeah. Chandra helps him dig for land. Let's get rid of that. In ghost fire. So I'm just getting rid of the steamkin too. I mean, I have, I have more. I, you know, I have another Ugin, they can just play the next turn. But might as well get rid of both of those. I don't know how they're going to play two cards to turn on Steam Kid, I don't know, but just getting rid of everything. Alright, we won game one. Opponent getting stuck on two lands certainly helped. There. GG's. Um, I guess I'm just supposed to play Diamond Mares instead of Paradise Druids because of Chain Whirler. All right, let's try this. I don't really like four mana Karn, like the other four mana Karn. Yeah, the statue is awesome. When it, whenever they have three mana in its turn, you know, 37 or whatever we just had right there. This hand looks pretty slow. Reason for keep, not clear. But it has good 
good amount. You know, that's four lands, three spells, I suppose. We're just going to be discarding a forest. Gets it out of the deck at least. I guess I'm supposed to do the Nessa thing first, and then they don't know about the two fours in hand. Alright, Grazer just gained three life, put a land into play. Good card. You wanna go so I'm going to Karn for Spyglass. I can bond a flourishing. No, we do that next turn. It's Karn for Spyglass here. Until you have lived as a statue, could never be corrupted. Next turn we can flourishing plus spyglass. I can also just go Ugin Spyglass. That's unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. This is just gonna be bad for you. I am ancient and wise. Heed. Chandra Fire Artisan. I be gone, interloper. <laughs> now. Death comes for us all. So the last one could take out the Lava Runner. Paradise Druid can block Pyromancer. Um, and yeah, I can still... Oh, no, because now I'm not playing the Blasto. What am I doing? Trips? So that worked out. Sword Tooth good. Yeah, real tough choice there. <laughs> I kind of wish we could have uh, spread out those dinosaurs a little bit. Yeah, I'm really glad they didn't Chain Whirler first. So we got to actually block with that 2-1 there. Sweet. Attack.
five. A little surprised they just sacrificed their Viachino Pyromancer to do one damage with that attack. Yeah, we definitely didn't want to do Blast Zone on, on two, because, yeah, the Spike Glass. And I, I don't know why the Steam Kid didn't attack there, also. They're just ripping cards here, left and right. Where'd I need? I need something good. Ah, how about another Forest? It was 8 to 8 with the lands before. I've drawn four lands. The bond, I bond a flourishing at like the exact wrong time to bond a flourishing. Because then it was just triple sword tooth under that. Yay, bond a flourishing. Gain life. Now we're not dead. I will aid you. Behold, nature's true power. Eight. Gosh, what if I attack with the sword tooth also? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Might as well. No! No! Ugh! Oh, we were so close! Yeah, because the, the land had Vigilance anyway. We had our two blockers. And the Firebrand was unblockable like that. Maybe I shouldn't be cutting this Karn. And we just had so many lands because of how, how late the game went in us casting like the Nissa's Triumphs and everything. That's why it looks like we were, like flooded out a whole lot because I mean the game just went really far, really long, and you know Nissa's triumphs do that. All right, better looking hands. Definitely not cutting triumphs. It's a good card. I'm glad I put this this card back in. The card looks pretty good right now. Getting us the card advantage. Definitely liked it more on the play. I am card. Where the you know, like on the draw you're behind, it's not helping you. Helps out here. Yeah, opponents on five card hand. But red five card hand doesn't mean like they lose or anything. Like Mono Red still has, you know, like Frenzy, Chandra. Light up the stages. Like they they can come back in this. Well, if my opponent didn't kill the Lanor off, I would have been able to ascend to the Sword Tooth here.
Hey, Sin. There's Frenzy. Yeah, they're looking real good here. It's having frenzies and steamkins. We need to find one of our four Ugins. Not a good turn for us. And Von Wang with that Twitch Prime sub showing that support there. Thank you so much, Von. Oh, Looks like we're going to just keep drawing lands over here. Not our game. Not our game. If we, could, if we cut a land, yeah, we could have only drawn eight lands instead of nine if we would have cut one. We didn't even pilgrimage here. You know, like, we didn't even, like, Nissa's pilgrimage to grab more lands. Your efforts are futile. All right, Nissa's is in there. Do I want a minus for a diamond mare? Not really. I'll make use of that later. I guess maybe so. Witness the ties that bind us all. The land fights for us. I guess they got rid of Frenzy. Yeah, they got rid of Frenzy because they had, you know, seven cards in hand. It's a good chance. Good chance there's another Frenzy in their hand still. But they just don't need it. That's an easy block. I think we have an extra land. I think that's okay. I guess I don't really need the field of ruin, but whatever. Um, I 
So the Chandra ultimating is still going to be tough. Yeah, so I can blow up Blast Zone on two, but how am I really dealing with this Chandra? Behold, nature's true power. My elemental friend. I'm honestly really not so sad that they're blocking here. If I hit Chandra, then the, the Chandra gets to deal 3 damage to, like, my Nessera Karn. Just doing the one upstairs. This is just gonna be bad for you. You are only endure. hurting yourself. We gotta hopefully find a Ugin in here somewhere. We got the four Ugins, we haven't seen one yet. Still no Ugin. Ugin yet? Yay! Got there. I came into being long before your guy. It's Ooh, over when I say it's over. Do not include you. Harness the elements. <laughs> it's over when I say it's over. <laughs> All right, another Chandra. That's fine. You like the stained glass again? I wish this the stained glass ones, you know, had like full or extended border. Another Yeah, Karn did a lot of work for us this game, clearing out a whole bunch of cards. And I'm pretty sure I can just kill them here by just like, you know, plussing and everything. So, two, four, six, eight, nine.
The land shall conquer you. I will protect the virtue of this world. All right. What a game. Our opponent popped that frenzy and not sure if they needed to. Not sure if they needed to at all. Hey, what's up, Arx Jelly? With the cheers. GG. GG. <laughs> yeah, it did, it did look like that was going to be impossible for us to win that game. <laughs> hey, thanks for the bit there. For the anonymous from the anonymous cheer. Okay. We are 4 and 0. Oh, so y'all know what that means. That means it is time for the final boss. Here we go. Hey, Bethel Freak. Thanks for the cheers. Getting in on that leaderboard as well. We're getting some final boss hype cheering going on. Get a foil final boss emote. Ooh. I was thinking of getting a foil jelly. Keeping that cheer going. I got a I got a gift there. Ooh. I was thinking about updating the foil um the foil emotes. I was gonna do like a, a foil hawkeye emote instead of the foil cheers. My bond to flourishing. <laughs> Thanks, Terminus. Go, T, go. They kept their card on top very quickly. Sure. We're kind of doing it. Duganing it. Dugan? I don't know. Hopefully, no Elder Spell. Oh, a little surprise they gave me the the triumph there. The, the grazer wasn't doing anything, but this gets two lands out of my deck. That's a lot more valuable. We're dugging it. There we go. We're dugging it. What? All right. You may regret that choice. Truth lies beyond. Ooh, arcane encyclopedia. 
We're gonna get to use this card this this turn or like this game. Yay! And it costs one. That's so efficient. Are you certain of your decision? Ooh, it's a good card to draw. We will not fail. Be wary of the deck is sweet. All right, we're going to game two. Nisa, Nissan Ultimate, coming on in, and I guess we're gonna bring um, a Golem and. Like the grazers just don't do anything, so we need we need to bring in other cards to replace them. Um, but I don't want to have, you know, we're gonna kind of board like we did against Grixis, but I still want to have like these cards in the sideboard to grab from Karn, I want to be able to tutor stuff. So I think last time we brought in the Crucible also. Maybe we'll bring in this Gravestone. I'll just keep a grazer. I'll keep two grazers. Get rid of the spyglass. I'll just keep two grazers. Maybe they have a thief of sanity. Yeah, one mana arcane encyclopedia into just enough for Nissa. Perfect timing. A return to nature. Try to to blow up as Kanta. I could do that. I could do that. We're playing against just blue black. Just Demir. All right, keeping the lands against the discard deck. We want lands because our our cards would get discarded anyway. So we need to be able to, whenever we top deck Ugins and everything, we need to be able to play them. So triumph. More lands. What? You counter my Nissa's triumph. That's rude. All right, car time. Grab some stuff. Yeah, this that is a good point. This deck is very consistent. Yeah, it does have good consistency here of, you know, like your your one color, so you don't have to worry about like having you know only having one color, not having the other. But there is just so much early stuff with the four grazer, four elf, four druid, uh, the the triumphs and and bond of flourishings. Like yeah, like so much of the deck costs one and two. So yeah, there's a lot of consistency here. I want to grab sword tooth or tick up. We'll tick up. A curious choice. When you understand the reality, the fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Yeah, certainly possible. Opponent has an elder spell. Or they just didn't think that the two damage on Karn was very valuable, I guess. Alright, so they got a card they own from outside of the game. That could be a Mortal Sun. They could be an Immortal Sun deck. It's possible. Which, I can't really beat a Mortal Sun right now.
Hmm. So six mana. The time has come. I should just attack first. Anyway. Well, just in case, let's get a bunch of 5-5s. Get a couple 5-5s five out here. It was a mortal sun. And I have lethal. Hooray! Good play. Alright, well that was our final boss. Got a win there. 5 and 0. Oh. Smooth. All right, yeah, this deck was sweet. So I, I will have to say that um so a couple of things. Uh one Nissa's Triumph was just awesome. Loved it. It was just a really quality card for us all the time getting like those extra lands that we needed, you know, being a you know, being a draw two for two mana and like basically all the time, like drawing those extra lands was nice. So yeah, I really like the triumphs. And I'll just say that the grazers did more than I was more than I expected. So yeah, I liked the grazers and uh, the grazers and and the sword tooth. Sword tooth was was awesome. It was frequently five five uh, in the deck. It was frequently three mana five five. We ascended very easily because of grazer. Um, to go along, you know, playing that extra land with Grazer, getting like two permanents for the most part there, and then Swordtooth putting in some extra lands and us having those extra lands because the Triumphs. Awesome. Um, the So th about the deck, does it need 25 lands is a question here. And I think so. Like, you, you do want a lot of lands. Like, you know, having, having the, a lot of land, like... Getting stuck on lands is the worst, worst possible scenario. Having you know, having a lot of lands and make you know, making it so whenever you top deck your Ugin, that's not the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is not having lands. So I think so. I think the deck could use another Karn. Maybe I kind of, I kind of want another like, one of like these Karn the Great Creators, like instead of the Arcane Encyclopedia. Like maybe either eat either of these Karns or. I mean, Nissa. Nissa is the kind of card that should be a four of, also. Like Nissa should just should just be a four of. So maybe maybe just a, a like the fourth Nissa and move the encyclo. Like I could see just just switching these two. Yeah, just put like if you want the encyclopedia, grab it from a Karn. I could see just switching those. Um, Diamond Mare, not super impressive, but it. I don't know. It kind of did its job, you know. We like it. It did some blocking for us, some important blocking to protect uh, planeswalkers and everything. And you know, it did its job against mono red. Was is that better than like a ripjaw raptor would be? Not so sure about that. You know, ripjaw raptor could be a little better for us there. Uh, Maybe, but of course, you know, we can't go grab Ripjaw Raptor with Karn. But that's another good option, especially um, for how how easy we get the extra, like, how easy we can get to four mana. I think Ripjaw could be a, a good one here. Um, I wasn't expecting to like the, the Return to Nature's too much, but we did play against a, a Nexus deck, so having access to those was pretty nice for the disenchants there the Ugins were just awesome man this card was so good Ugin was just always like winning us games like Ugin and Nissa, these cards were incredible we did get to Meteor Golem Helm of the Host a couple of times love that combo love that um, yeah it honestly worked out pretty well I think that flyers would give this deck quite a bit of problem, like spe spe specifically like rekindling phoenix. So I, I usually like force landing. I think um, 
as far as cyborg art sideboard cards go i think the return to natures and the diamond mares are the worst cards i think like you know if you want some other stuff you want like some ripjaw raptors some forced landings um i think these are the worst cards in the sideboard these two um and you know you, you could you, know, you don't really need the arcane encyclopedia it's cute um yeah the transmogrifying wand that's a that's a decent card as well, that takes out Rekindling Phoenix and Arclight Phoenix and stuff like that. Turns them into two fours. It's not a bad one. Um, yeah, and that, that could be something against Flyers. Yep. Silent Gravestone does stop Rekindling Phoenix from coming back, but you have to, you know, kill the Phoenix for that to happen. But there we go. It's a pretty sweet deck. Pretty sweet looking deck here. Um, J-Jack, thanks for that donation. Uh... For the that skip the line donation here, I enjoyed it. Pretty good looking deck. I I'll have to say that the consistency of having so many one and two mana cards and the single color was really nice, and really liked it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, Brontodon. Brontodon's another good one. Uh, instead of Return to Nature, just having Brontodon because Brontodon uh, is a good body against red also. I do think Brontodon's better than Return to Nature. There. Yeah, I think that's just a better card there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was a pretty sweet looking deck here. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Mono Green Ramp. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for another video.